Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would start a weekend in my life vlog and we are actually going to try a new restaurant here in Austin, Texas. It's called ATX Cocina and every time we walk by it, it smells so good. So tonight is the night that we're finally trying it. We're actually going to go for happy hour. So our reservation's at like four. I think it's only like four to five, which is probably the shortest happy hour I've ever heard of. But I always feel like it can save like a good amount of money going to happy hour. So I wanted to like try it out for the first time. So I thought happy hour would be the best time to do that. We're running late. Ryan just got home from my haircut, so he has to shower. Go, go shower, go. Go. I wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit. It's pretty messy in here, but I have a bodysuit from Where Are You From from Nordstrom. It's called Waif. And then these jeans are Shein. Let me show you guys. All right, get the whole jeans. They're so cute. They fit so good. I want to say they're like definitely under 30 bucks. And I love that. If you guys are new to the channel, we just moved into this apartment. So that's why it's kind of like this in here. Well, that's my excuse for it being a mess. This weekend, I don't really have that much planned other than going to the pool tomorrow because I feel like it's going to be a nice day and I literally don't have anything to do, which, which is so weird for me because if you guys didn't know, I am a freelance photographer. So I just finished off grad season and I used to have grad shoots almost every single day. So I feel like I can finally breathe and relax, which is kind of nice. And then also tomorrow night, my friends and I are going to go out to East 6th and we do live in East Austin now. So we kind of just want to like explore the area. We're kind of tired of going out rainy and like west six so we're gonna check out a new spot ATX Casino. We just got like some happy hour stuff, but it was really, really good. And I didn't even finish like half my margarita and I was feeling it, which is great. Like I love being a lightweight for all the haters. Being a lightweight is great. Also shout out for the people that stopped us in the restaurant that watched us. It honestly makes me so happy to see people like in person that watch my videos. So shout out to you guys. And now we're probably going to go back home. What do you think? Maybe drive around downtown. It feels really, really nice outside. So maybe we'll go to the like deck on our, on our, uh, what's it called? Balcony. Our balcony on our, Barman. thank you, apartment, yes. <laughs> this is my new favorite song, Turn Off The Lights, Good Beat Drop. We decided to come outside and enjoy the pool. Since it's shaded here, it's not like super hot. So I don't even want to get in the water now. <laughs> But it's literally like 97 degrees outside, but it's just like not hot right here, which sucks because I really wanted to swim. We're trying out these new drinks, Vive Punch, and there's the flavor. It tastes like a pina colada. That one's not good. That's like a peach one, but this isn't like horrible. I had ranch water. What flavor is that? Uh, watermelon? Watermelon. Um, it wasn't that good. I like the lime in the original one. This one's Southern Punch. It's currently almost 9.30 and I was hungry because we ate at like four. So I ordered something on Uber Eats. This is crispy rice and I'm pretty sure it's only like on Uber Eats. It's like kind of like one of those ghost kitchen things. I'm gonna show you guys what I got because it is so good. I've tried it once before. I'm not sure if I vlogged it before, um, but it's basically like spicy tuna crispy rice, which I honestly can't find anywhere in Austin. Um, in Atlanta, there's a place called Umi, which is so good. Probably one of the best restaurants or best sushi restaurants in Atlanta. They have spicy tuna crispy rice and theirs is like the best I've ever tried, but this isn't horrible. This is what it looks like and let's see what's inside. All right, so we got some um, avocado crispy rice. We got salmon. Oh, it got a little jumbled there. We got a hand roll. Um, I think this is salmon yuzu. And then we got two um, orders of the salmon, king salmon uh, sashimi. So I'm about to dig in. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. Today, Ryan woke me up and he was like, look at this news article. And it basically said um, there was like a mass shooting on Dirty Sixth Street last night. I don't think anyone was killed. Um, I think they're all in like really critical condition. So that's like really, really scary. Luckily I wasn't out in general cause that just would have been like really scary to have that like feeling that like, holy crap, that could have happened to me. Um, and I know like some of my friends were out last night. 
luckily not on Dirty Six Street because I feel like Dirty Six is kind of like more of a touristy place, but that is so scary. I'm praying for the people who were shot and I hope they find the guy because they didn't even find the guy yet, which is crazy. But today I have some errands to do and just like some computer work and I don't know what else, but I kind of wanted to go to the pool because my hair is literally like a rat's nest right now and I think I need to wash it before going to dinner. For my Aaron's outfit, I have this top, which I feel like I got on Amazon, but I'm not sure. It's just literally like a loose athletic top that I literally wear like so often. I should probably get more. And then I'm wearing this tennis skirt, which is super cute. I actually did get it off Amazon and it has like the little pleats in the back. I wish the band was thicker right here because like I love high-waisted stuff and it's just like not high-waisted enough for me. And then we got some new shoes, guys. I finally got new white sneakers and I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're very different. Um, they're called J slides and this is what they look like. So they're kind of like slide ons. They don't have any shoelaces or anything. And yeah, kind of weird, kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about them. We got all the packages and now I'm gonna go return them. I actually have to go to UPS and FedEx though. So it's kind of annoying that it's not just one or the other. And then this is all of our like last minute stuff that we grabbed from the old place. And that's gonna be it from moving. Like that is it, it's crazy. We actually have to give the keys to our old place today. So I'm gonna wait for Ryan to do that because he didn't give me his key. Now I need to get my eyebrows done. There's like a lot of stray hairs. So I went over to my place, my usual place on Riverside and unfortunately they weren't open today. And then I um, did a quick search for like threading in Austin and I found this place called Hollywood Brows um, on East, I think it's East 6th, which is like kind of in my neighborhood, which works out because, you know, like I feel like we have always been so used to going to Riverside for a lot of our things because um, we lived there, but now we're on East. So I feel like we just need to find our things here. So it kind of works out in that way. I'm really hoping these people are good and like really understand like I want to grow them out. I feel like I always have to specify like I just need like a little cleanup and nothing like shaping or anything because I'm fine with my brows. I just like to fill them in. Mm, they look so thin. Mm. I don't know if it's just because I was so used to them being so bushy, but I feel like they look really freaking thin right now. And maybe it's also because she trimmed them really a lot, but like, holy shit. <laughs> god it was like $15 too the other place was like $8 I really need them to freaking open up because I don't want to go back to that place again unless I have to but what the frick I was also so specific on like just clean them up I hate when this happens brows are like a big part of your face they just can't mess it up and they do why does it happen they're good okay. what is wrong with them they look fine they're so thin they're normal <laughs> I just wanted attention. Hey, you think they look good? You'll be no. telling me they look good. You're really fucking thin. Are you sad? Yeah. We just turned in our keys. We're across the apartment together. Mm-hmm. You miss this view, what do you think? I know. I already miss it. It looks different now, though. But... Yeah. Do you have any last final words? Hope they don't charge us for anything. What? I hope they don't charge us for anything. Yeah, we cleaned pretty freaking good. <laughs> I think. It's just like two years of living with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Say bye bye. Like thin ass eyebrows. Bye bye. Bye, apartment. We made so many good memories in ya. Sophie's gonna miss this place. Mm -hmm. She had so much room to like run around. <laughs> and now. She doesn't have that much room to run around. And also we have hardwoods, so it's harder for her to run around. So dramatic. <laughs> I feel like if I hear a commercial multiple times, like they will get me and, and they'll sell whatever they're selling to me. So basically I've heard this one Sonic commercial and I've been wanting to go to Sonic for a while. And it says like you, if you get the app, you can get half off drinks. So I'm gonna get me a cherry limeade. What do you want? A mini Reese's Blast. Mini Reese's Blast. We got the goods. The camera literally just died. <laughs> but I'm gonna enjoy my food. Because I have not eaten all day. And it's one. 
we're back home we brought in all the other stuff from my car and now that we're all sweaty we're gonna go to the pool and i actually just picked up a package and it's my jbl freaking speaker i've been wanting one of these for so long and they actually reached out to me to do a sponsorship, which is so freaking cool. It's like the little clip thing. I thought it'd be like perfect for summer because if we were ever to go paddleboarding, you could just like clip it on, you know? Um, so I'm really excited about this and it's perfect timing because we're gonna go to the pool so I can take some photos there. We're gonna get a little sun, which reminds me, I need to bring my super goop face sunscreen. This swimsuit is from Shein and I love it, but as you can see, the white lining kind of pops out a little bit and it just doesn't like fit perfectly i mean it is fine especially for show like i think it's so cute but if you were like going swimming and doing like snorkeling and all that this is probably not the best because it's gonna show that like white lining which is kind of annoying and then this is the lack of color hat um i will put the exact style i'll link the exact style down below just because i can't remember um it at the top of my head and then these sunglasses are from amazon promoting john mayer's new album okay <laughs> Ryan stole my hat, and he was about to steal my sunglasses, too. Rude. I dunked my whole self into the pool, played mermaids for a little, even though Ryan wouldn't play with me. But it feels so good to bake in the sun after swimming. It's a lot later, and I actually just got done doing some lives. I did one on TikTok and one on Instagram, and I was doing my hair, but honestly, I was really distracted. So I decided to get off live and just do it myself. Um, but I did want to show you guys that I did get the longer barrels for the Dyson Air app, and it is a lot better because my hair was just like falling off. Like my hair, I personally don't consider my hair very long just because, well, like compared to what I used to have, it was like literally down to my butt. That's long to me. This is like medium. People call it long though. I guess it just depends on like what you're used to. It still does like fall off the thing. And like, especially when I'm all the way up to here, like the ends just hang off. So I wanted to get the longer one. Um, and I guess I have one last piece to do. I guess I'll just show you guys how I do it. So you can do it like this, but I actually like to do it like this, like a, using a curling wand or something. So I'm just gonna set it with a pin as I've been doing for the rest of my head. It just feels like it stays a little longer. I don't know if you could hear me over that thing. Basically what I did was I did the heat setting. There's like a heat and a cool setting. So I did the heat setting on first like to actually dry it and like, you know, curl it. And then I did the cool setting to set it when I was on, like when everything was on the rod. Then I just like pulled it down, turned the thing off, then pulled it down. And this is actually what it looks like, the bottom of my hair. Bouncy and everything, but I know when I hit the humidity outside, it's probably gonna fall a little, but still it like has quite a bit of volume when it falls. My hair looks so short, but it's so pretty. I need to get going to dinner, so I'm just gonna vlog on my phone because um, I don't really want to take my camera out, but this is my hair. It looks so good. I did the Dyson Era, as you guys just saw. Um, hopefully it holds up because it looks so like bouncy and pretty. Um, top is from Forever 21. Pants are Grace and Lace and then my new shoes, J Slides. Good morning, happy Sunday. We slept in today, which was so nice to finally not have anything to do. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's just like such a big shock to me because like once you're go, go, go every single day with like shoots after work and work in general and then the YouTube stuff, like it's like crazy to have so much like random free time. I think we're gonna do a little bit of exploring today. Um, the big thing that we need to get done today is grocery shopping and actually like planning out our meal plans. That's Ryan's job. We both want to eat healthy, but sometimes like what I think is healthy, he's like, no, that's bad for you. So I'm just gonna like let him deal with that. And then I will like 
cook it obviously because I like wanted to cook for him for so long but he was like okay you need to stop cooking like um what's it called like bad fattening foods I was like I totally get it so we're gonna try to be better about our health starting tomorrow Sophie can you thank you we're taking her out too she is very dirty she's a very crusty dog right now but then I was like I don't want to like give her a bath and then like take her out and her get like I don't even know if dogs get sweaty but like if she gets like dirty outside you know I'd just rather like bathe her like later Sophie you're throwing a temper tantrum what does she get sweaty or not what happens to them then they just pant all right, well, I got my set active outfit on. You guys already know I'm like set active, probably biggest fan. I have so many sets from them that I literally had to stop receiving their emails because I was like, I don't need anymore. So I need to like get off this email list because I will be sucked in and buy more colors. I'm wearing a set in oat milk and the top is one of my like favorite um, tops from them. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot what it's called. Oh, it's called the body crop. So this is the body crop and then these are just the leggings and they're both the Sculpt Flex material. I haven't tried the Lux Floor material which is apparently more like Lululemon but this is like all ribbed and it just like really sucks you in so I love the Sculpt Flex. Up top I'm wearing my Ace at the Beach hat which I feel like I wear so often. I just need to get more of these like trucker corded hats. They're so cute. I really want to like Aviator Nation one with the big smiley in front. Maybe we can do that today. Go to Aviator Nation babe. These shoes I've been loving recently. They're from Amazon, literally 20 bucks. I'll definitely link them down below. I remember that the Mueller's Farmer's Market is a thing on Sunday. We thought we would head over here. The parking was a little difficult to find, but we found it, so. And Toby's here. She's ready to get some compliments. market and we got some lamb chops or lamb rack for dinner tonight my sister said during like the quarantine or like just like the pandemic in general she would go to the farmer's market and like pick one thing and like make it into a meal for that night so i was like okay i want to do that same thing so we got some lamb and i don't even know how to really prepare it but we're gonna figure it out honestly the sun drained me i feel like i'm so tired i'd love to go to the pool or just like literally take a big cat nap on the couch so i <laughs> might talk to you guys a little bit later it's 8 p.m ryan's almost home from golf and then we're gonna go grocery shopping i have not made a list which i know is so bad because like that's when you like waste food so i don't know what i'm gonna buy but i do need to like start being healthy i mean we actually have to buy like a lot of random basics because we like cleaned out our fridge when we moved um but we also need to decide what we want to do with those the lamb shank the not shank <laughs> lamb rack um i think i want to do something like more on the sweet side i saw there was like this honey balsamic kind of thing or we could do something like greek like herby so i'm gonna have to ask ryan what he is in the mood for but i'm gonna go get my stuff and head down and meet him at the car and then we're gonna just probably gonna go to walmart or heb or something and i'll probably do a little grocery haul for you guys later we just got home from heb and we went to our new heb because we usually go to riverside but now we're on the east side and i feel like it's a little bit smaller but i mean i think it's like a little bit nicer but i'd just rather have like all the options you know we got some spinach because i want to start making some salads again i vow to not waste bananas this time because i feel like i always just let them go bad avocados i feel like you can always use onions some limes and lemons i got this minced garlic because i hate cutting up garlic i freaking love dave's killer bread um this is actually the thinner one and it's 70 calories per slice if you didn't know now you know ryan's addicted to reese's cups so got those and then cookies and cream ice cream he picked this out um then we got some poppy i just got one because i wanted to order like a big pack on amazon but this is the raspberry rose flavor 
best freaking flavor. I'm telling you guys, you have to try this. We are gonna actually make the lamb chops tomorrow just because it's literally already, oh my God, it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, Ryan just ordered us tacos, like literally down the street. We're gonna try out a new taco place, so hopefully it's good so we don't have to drive um, like a little further. But yeah, we're gonna see how those are and we'll keep you guys updated. But I thought sweet potatoes would go really good with the lamb chops that we got. And then I don't think I had a balsamic vinegar, so I just got that. Strawberries for my salad. I love when my mom makes me like sweet, sweeter salads. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that time. And then we also got rosemary for the lamb chops. Got some tomatoes, cucumbers, and little tomatoes, cause these are gonna be for my salads. The other tomatoes are gonna be for like more of like a snack or um, like, what am I saying? For sandwiches. <laughs> Ryan got this sweet cream. Cold stone flavor. We got salted almonds. Nuts are so expensive, y'all. I don't know why, but they just are. <laughs> got a refill of the pink Himalayan salt. Ours lasted us so long, but it is finally on its last leg. So we just bought like a refill thing. Or actually, oh, you can actually just get it out itself, but I don't think I want like a rock in my food. So <laughs> the other one actually like grinds it and then gum. I love these little cube things. They're so good. I really like the black raspberry flavor, but I wanted something minty. I got frozen corn, because I feel like you can always put that in like some stir fry kind of deal. And then we got some sandwich meat. I like really want to get into sandwiches. I always see them and they look so good. And um, just like with tomato, cucumbers, like that sounds so refreshing. Of course we got our frozen food. So this is truffle mac and cheese. And I feel like it could be a light lunch, 440 calories. Okay, that's that's not as light as like this one. This is like 280 and it's pasta. A month ago or something, I was doing the calorie deficit thing and the frozen meals really, really helped me in that department because it was just so easy. It was like a pre-portioned meal, you know, and you didn't have to cook and it was pretty good. And then I also found these, which I need to put in the freezer right now. They're literally like dip and dots, but not dip and dots. They are itty bits. I was like, I want to try that. H-E-B has a lot of like these pre-made things. So this is curry chicken salad, which sounds really good. Um, I got a new salad dressing. This is like a lemon vinaigrette kind of thing. Lemon, yeah, lemon vinaigrette. Another thing Ryan picked out, this is um, kind of like a clean energy drink. So it's no caffeine. We'll see if it works. Honestly, I'm like really like seeing what caffeine can do or not even just like caffeine but like yerba mates and all of that stuff and i'm like shit i really need to start drinking it on a daily basis but i don't want to get like um like i don't want to need it every single day so i'm just like trying not to but sometimes i just get so tired throughout the day that i'm like I don't even want to work, you know? I feel like everyone feels that way though. Ryan and I always get the sausage, egg, and cheddar at Starbucks. So I wanted to try these out because these are literally like 150 calories for one sandwich. It's kind of like a, in a pita thing with egg and cheese. So it's like, hopefully it's just as good. I feel like I hear every YouTuber talk about Alani new and I saw it. So I was like, I want to try it since I do need a little bit of energy throughout the day. Like I just said, it's literally 10 calories and I got the Hawaiian shaved ice flavor. And a lot of their flavors were like cosmic dust. And I was like, Ryan, what the heck does this even taste like? Like, I wish it said something like something like strawberry flavored or something so I could know. But like, I was like too scared to get anything else. So I just went safe. The last thing I got was cereal. This is like my favorite honey bunches of oats. A lot of the other things are Ryan. So I don't feel like showing them because I need to actually put the stuff away. I got two pastor and one compinchana. These are definitely like a little bit smaller than we're used to, but they look good. Call me psycho. Call me psycho, but I just ate a rock. Uh oh, what if this is my new snack? You've had it for a long time. What? Do you like that one you said that one? Yeah. It's kind of like those salt flakes on the pretzels that you find and you're like, oh fuck, that was a good salt flake. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna end it here because tomorrow is Monday and we gotta get on the health grind, work grind, workout grind, all of the grinds. We're gonna get back into shape and just be healthy. So I'm really excited to start that. 
and hopefully my motivation is high because right now it's really not to be honest but maybe i just need to look up some like motivating TikToks and stuff because that always really gets me in the mood. If you guys aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do that. And you can turn on your post notification bells to get notified for every video I post. And also go follow me on Instagram because I'm going to try to be more active on my stories now that I'm like a free bird and don't have anything to do really. So I'm excited about that. My life is going to be chill and slow and that means more vlogs. So get excited and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.